guys, welcome back. So today I am going to film my declutter as well as my empties together. Um, these are some of the products that I completely finished and they're probably expired. <laughs> A lot of them already expired. Um, this summer I kind of worked on my um, decluttering and you know just review what I have in my collection and uh, yeah well I didn't think I had that many products but uh, you know that was a rude awakening for me so out of that collection I basically pull out all the stuff that I know already expired and a lot of them I did a really good job um, getting majority of them done and then some of them are not so right here you're seeing about 58 products. Um, I don't know how many are empties and I don't know how many are, um, you know, are um, a waste. <laughs> so I'm going to show you that right now. So I have about, oh my gosh, let me see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So I have about 14 face products here. I'm going to go um, with foundation first. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven uh, foundation. Oops. <laughs> one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So there's seven of these. Um, this one is probably like the worst I ever purchased. Um, I didn't get a lot out of it. Um, and the color is completely not my color. It's actually really, really warm. And I think I bought this before I know how to match my shades. So yeah, this is a horrible, horrible. Um, uh, purchase. I didn't get a lot of use out of it. I mean, it's still technically okay to use, um, but since I bought it in 2006, 16, I'm going to go ahead and declutter this one. And I'm going to show you guys how to, how I declutter them. Um, I don't just throw these this into the trash. I actually pump it out. Today is Sunday. I purposely save for today because trash day is tomorrow. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pump all of this into a container. And then I'm going to throw, I had ramen yesterday, so I'm going to throw all of the foundation into that ramen container, and then I'm going to put it in the trash, and then I'm going to take it outside to the, um, the recycle, or not the recycling bin, but the, um, um, the trash bin. Um, so I will show you a clip later on uh, how I do that. I'll walk you through it. Um, but yeah, so this one is going to the trash. Horrible buy. I, I definitely would try it again, but like in a different shade. This is supposed to be light medium. I don't know if you can see that, but... Um, it's just, yeah, it's just definitely too warm for me. Um, this one was a really good one. I did use two-thirds of it. I don't know if you can see it through that crack. Um, so here's the whole container, and I use about maybe half. A little bit more than half. Like, more like 60%. But I bought this in 2017. Um, the color, even though it's a, a really good mixed color for me, However, it's very gray. Um, let me see if I could do an example of that. You can see it. Yeah, but it's very gray tone on me, and so um, I can't really mix it with anything else, to be honest. I probably could just get like a, like a green tone adjuster, and then I could just use the rest of it, but... I have a lot in my collection that are newer, um, that's more expensive, so I think I'm going to try to use those up and not, and kind of just, you know, take a loss for this. And of course, in 2020 to 21, I promised myself that I'm not going to buy any makeup or any skincare, so that would give me a chance to kind of catch up with my collection and finish as many products as I can. Um, so yeah, so I think this is a go. It's very lightweight. Um, but, like I said, it's not, like, it's kind of just sit on your skin. Um, from my personal experience, I don't like this. So I'm going to go ahead and get rid of it. This I do like. This is actually my second bottle, but I barely get any use out of it. And I think it's gross because this is supposed to be 24 months, and I had way longer than that. You know, and sometimes I, I use, I use, I kind of expand my time frame a little bit more. But, um, but like four years more is kind of like where I draw the limit. So I, um, I test it out. I kind of look at it and it's separated already. So I don't know. That's usually a good sign telling you that it's done. It's a done so. So this got to go. Can you see the separation right there? So even when you shake it up, it 
still a really weird color, so I think it's time for me to get rid of it. Uh, unfortunately, you know, I that was expensive, and I didn't use it all. This one, I actually just tried early on, and it feels really light. I might be able to use it still, so I'm going to keep it just to kind of, like, test out, like, this week. And if not, I'm just going to go ahead and throw it away. It's very luxe, like, glass jar and everything. It's kind of nice. Um, but yeah, I'm going to I'm gonna give it a try one more day tomorrow and then see if I don't like it. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of it. But this might be going too because this is one of the very old ones. I never use this one, you guys. I never use this one. Um, so I really want to like use it, but this is also really old too, so I don't know. But when I open it, the colors look fine and the smell looks, smells fine too. So it gives me this feeling that I could still use it. So I'm going to go ahead and give it a try. And put that away. This one, I, uh, it's too gray. I only have a little bit left of it. It's actually not bare mineral. It's just, you know, a makeup bottle that I almost finished and I dumped it out. And I dumped it in here. I have a tendency to do that a lot. Um, so I'm going to clean this out and I'm going to throw it away. Um, yeah, it's from Misha. I, that's all I remember. And then this one is from, I don't know what brand it is. Some Japanese Korean brand um, but the expiration date says 2011 um, <laughs> it's probably one of the oldest one I ever had it's actually not 2016 it's 2011 right here um, I got probably half of them done um, so up to here and um, I was testing the color earlier It's a very gray tone. I don't know if you guys can see that. Um, I don't know. I think just because it's really old and it's really gray, you see that? Um, I think I'm just going to go ahead and get rid of it. I, I'm not interested in putting something to that, like, almost 10 years old on my face. So, um... I'm going to get rid of that. And then this one I got from, like, Daiso. Not sure if, like, I used this a handful of times, and um, this is all I had left. The smell is, like, really fragrant. It's, like, yeah. It's from this brand, Clean, Clean Colors, Clean Color. Um, 18 months, and I know I had it since 2016. Um, it's really orange. Right there but I think yeah I think it's just time for it to go as well and then I have a few more product here this one is from elf it broke and it's just a, it's too much of a mess and I'm not sure it was supposed to be like a, um, a highlighter or what but it's just awful and then this one I actually did finish um, it's a super stay Maybelline 24 uh, hour concealer um, I scraped the heck out of it from the bottom I couldn't get any more so I consider this as an empty and then I have this one from Victoria's Secret. Who remember the very sexy line? Um, if you look down here, there's quite still a lot of products, but um, it, it has a lot of glitter, and I'm just not into glitter anymore. And then this one is from Avon. This is old, like really, really old. Um, I had this probably since 2000... I don't have the date on here, but since 2012. Um... It, yeah, it just gotta go, and yeah, it just gotta go. Um, and then this one is from Re uh, Revlon, and it's a blush. I'm not really into cream blushes. I don't know how to use it. Um, the only cream blush that I love is this one from Clinique, and the color is Rosy Blush Number Three. My God, this color is just beautiful, um, but it's expired, so. It was time for me to let it go, but I love that color every time I wear it. Um, it's like a nude, but like kind of like a rosy nude. And then this one, let me see how much I have left. Quite a lot. Um, this is New York. What? New York? New York color? What brand is this? Uh, oh, NYC. Um, I have a few products from them. This is one of them. And I like the other one that is like a bronzer. Um, the classic bronzer, do you guys remember these? This one? Yeah, so I love this, but not too 
happy with this one. So um, that got to go. Never use it. I probably used it a few times, actually. I wouldn't say I never used it, but didn't like it, so it got to go. Okay, I'm going to try to film this section, but my daughter is here, so um, you want to say hi, Jalen? Hi. Hi. You going to be quiet so mommy can film? Yes. Okay, good job. Thank you. Okay, so here is um, eyeshadows, I guess. Eyeshadow, eyeliners, um, all that. So I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26. So 26. I'm going to go through the ones that I actually empty first. So these are all emptied. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4. This I love. I love MAC um, eyeliners. They are just, I, I just freaking love it. Um, mm. But it's definitely done. And um, I hate this. I hate ColourPop. For some reason, there's an ingredient in this product. I have a brown one and this one. And um, some for some reason, just the ingredient. Like, every time I notice I wear it, um, my eyes would turn red. And I might have, like, an allergic reaction to whatever the ingredients they're using. However, it stay full, like, on your eyes. Like, it won't budge. And I love that about eyeliners. Um, it's kind of like the opposite of this e.l.f. product. Um, I bought this last year, and I kid you not, I couldn't wait to get this, like, out of my collection. It was horrible. It smudges. I look like a freaking raccoon after I use it. It is just, like, the worst. Um, it's not even, like better than um this no brand name i forgot what's it is it, this is what brand is this styly style i don't even know if that's a brand but it lasts about 36 months and it's waterproof and it was just way better way 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 better than than all the other ones um but these are all done so four of them are done they're completely emptied and then um let me see let's go into the rest of these so these, um, I had for a really long time, and they're not used. Some of them are exposed. I don't know why I lose the cap. Um, this one is like a makeup, like a, like actual, I'm going to just draw on it, see if it still works. It's supposed to be for brows. What? Brows, Jalen brows. And, um... I probably could still use it for brows, but I don't know. I, I just, I think it's time for it to go, to be honest. Um, I had a few other ones that I just, oh, you know what I could do? I could just take that out and then put this in here and I can use it for the brows. Oh yeah, smart. Okay, so since this one's still technically working, I'm going to go ahead and keep it for my brows. And then everything else, I can go ahead and do clutter. So minus one, you guys, minus one. Um, this one is from the brand Avon. Um, I know I had that for a long time, so I'm gonna go ahead and throw that away. And then same thing here, and then LA Colors. These are not like, you know, expensive brands. I can always buy more if I need to, and I have a lot of brow products already, so I don't think I need it. Um, this one was kind of interesting. Um, it's just like an eye glide, you just, from Revlon. I used to love Revlon. I bought a lot of product from Revlon. Um, when I first started out, it's really inexpensive and a lot of them work really well. So I used to buy it a lot. Um, also Avon too. Um, but these are Dunzo. The pigment, it's not showing up anymore. So that's how you know that it, it, it's expired. Who remember this? Oh my God. This is so old. I think it's also from, from Brevlon, but no, from L'Oreal actually. But yeah, who remember this? Oh my gosh, this is so old. Um, and then I have, this is my first, like, eye palette that was expensive. It was given to me. Um, I got a lot of them. Not a lot, I guess. But it just doesn't work the same way anymore. So it's sad for it to go, but it's done. And then I have this one from MAC. I'm pretty sure it's a fake one because I bought it, like, online. And, yeah. But, and I love this one from Revlon. But it's really old already, so I gotta, I just, it just gotta go. So this is gonna go, that's gonna go. This one is from the Very Sexy line. There's like a lot of glitter on it. I just, yeah. Um, yeah, just no. No boy, no. And then there's this other one that's gold. Um, I don't really have a use for this. And I don't know, like, if the color's still showing up anymore. So, let's see. 
yeah, the color sucks. So I think it's time for it to go. Same thing with this one. I remember this was so expensive when I bought it too. And I don't know if it's doing the same thing anymore. So, um, I mean, it's still pretty, but I don't need it. So I think it should go. And then these two other one, I used to love blue eyeshadows, but now not so much. And then I used to love like this mix for gray, like a uh, smoky. And then I have like costume glitter. And this is one of my first palette. I don't know what brand is this from. Innovative Cosmetics Concepts from New York. And I use quite... Let me see if I can... I use a lot out of it. But it didn't look like there was... You know, I got a lot of use out of it. But um, I got a lot of them done. And then this one broke because I depotted the other one that I actually want. And then this is another brand. Uh, I depotted the ones I want and then I, the ones that I don't want, I'm going to throw in away. But that's basically it. This is the eyeshadow collection, eyeliner, and that complete the face. Okay, this is the last part. I have about 17 products here. I have four that is already empty. I put them on this side. I'm going to show you really quickly. So this is a MAC. And the color is Pretty Please a Lustre Blind lined and um, yeah it was a really good mix color um, I usually put it in the center or I separate it it's like this m muted um, what is it called like a muted pink like a baby pink but muted and then I have this one um, pretty sure it's fake because I don't think any MAC stuff has this 05 number on it so I I'm not sure if this is a fake one um, but anyways, and then I have these two. I love this combination for pageant. Oh my god, it's beautiful. This is from uh, Love and Beauty, um, Victoria's? No, Forever 21 brand. And then this one is a NYX color jumbo lip pencil in the color Chaos 724. This, in combination with this Love and Beauty color, I don't know what color this is, but um, it's just magic. Just magic, these this lip combo. Um, would I go out and get it again? No, I probably not because I have like 24 lipsticks that I have to use right now. So I'm not going to go out there and get it, but this is like for bad pageant days, it's beautiful. Um, another lipstick that I absolutely love, but I hate the packaging, is the NARS one. Um, this one is in the color Roman Holiday. I don't know if you can see it. Come on, zoom. There you go. Um... It's such a beautiful color. This is all I use. I lost a lot of caps, if you notice. Um, I used to take them with me to the raves um, for touch-up. And, um, you know, when you drink and, yeah, you just lose a lot of stuff. And I happen to lose a lot of my lipsticks. So this, that's the color right there. It's just still so pretty. Expensive lipstick lasts way longer than... Um, you know, then cheap one. The only reason that I don't like it is just that um, weird texture. It feels like rubbery. And yeah, yeah I, I just don't want to deal with it. So I just wanted to let it go. And then this other one from MAC, I barely got any use out of this. Um, but it, it definitely changed the formula. is turning weird on me. So I just, yeah, I think it's time for it to go. But I didn't get a lot of use out of this. But it was such a good lip, lip gloss. And then I have another one. This one is really pale. It's called Cream Sheen. Cream de Nude. And I always have like a nude color in my collection just to kind of like uh, mix the color. And that's, it's kind of like a peachy nude. So, yeah, but that gotta go. I'm, I think I'm just gonna bring it to uh, MAC and just get a trade. Like, turn it in and recycle it and get another trade. Sorry about that. My camera just like flipped over. <laughs> Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and speed this up because the rest of them is not really like, like so important to to talk about each of the products. I'm just gonna, um, I don't know what color, what brand this is. Oh, NYX. I used to like NYX, but this is really expired, so that gotta go. This one is from Mac, uh, Mark Jacob. It's like a sample. And then this was a perfect red. Oh my God, this is from the Bomb. Is it the Bomb? I don't remember the brand, but. Yeah, that one's gone. Oh my god, this one. This was a gift, and 
it was such a pretty color i remember using it all the time um rose prestique 311 from Givenchy. yeah but that one's gonna go too and then this one is from city color uh matte it was pretty but but that one's done this one is from clinique i love it it's so small um not wasteful you know like um packaging so i wish there's more makeup like this it's kind of cool um and then this one i got as a gift but then it said that it's expired in 2018 so i'm not gonna even gonna use it it's a matte pink bright bright pink um but i gotta go <laughs> this is gross and then here are some lip liner i had a lot of some of these similar colors already in my collection so i decided to let it go um but that's basically it one two three four i think 14 that we said Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. Ooh, seventeen, really? But yeah, seventeen products. That's it. That's basically it. And then lastly, this is a nail polish that I'm gonna declutter. It just doesn't work anymore. And I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go through my whole nail polish collection um, later and see if I could um, get rid of them, get rid of more products. So maybe I'll sh I should just keep this one for that series later. But yeah, I have a lot of. Um, nail polish over the years then I think it's time for me to declutter those as well because I need it to be um, compressed into a smaller collection especially now that I'm using like a gel type rather than like the regular nail polish so we'll see about that I'm gonna see what I'm gonna do probably next week when I have a little more time but that's that's the end of of this um, I'm sure there are some other products that I probably can get rid of but I think 50 something is a good um, it's a good start and then as I'm going through, you know, this year, the products, um, I, I will know, you know, which one I need to let it go and or pass it on. If then they have not expired, I'm going to pass it on. I have passed on a few makeup products and skincare products to my sister, to my pageant sister, and to my boss's daughter. And so there's about four people that were recipients of, you know, my declutter <laughs> Um, so a lot of them are new or unused, uh, products or used one, two times. And I, you know, I just have better ones that I want. So I just pass it on to them. Um, but yeah, anyways, um, that's basically it. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you guys had a great, uh, July 4th and a great weekend. Bye now. So I'm not sure if you guys can see what I'm doing, but basically anything that still have products, I just, you know, squeeze them all out and put it on like a piece of paper and then I clean it like that and then now that it's clean and there's no more products inside um, that's when I know that it's okay for it to be in the recycling um, so that they could recycle all of the parts um, you know you can be a consumer but you gotta you gotta be you know a good consumer and a good environmentalist I guess so that's how I kind of finish my product um, once I'm done I kind of put it in like this little bin right here so that uh, I can just take it straight to my recycling um, and then same thing with lipstick lipsticks are actually really easy to recycle you just have to break them off like that and then you just clean the parts inside you could uh, get like a toothpick and then that will clean that as well so hold on one second so I just happen to have a, a popsicle stick so I'm gonna use that and I'm gonna take that out and I'm just going to put it right on top of the napkin. And then... I'm going to put that back in there and then I just use it to clean it off. So, get as much of it out as possible. Make sure it's clean. If you want to be extra clean, you can um, put it under the water and then rinse it out that way too. Um, but I like to get the gunks out first before I put anything in my sink. So that's basically it. And then once it's done, you can go ahead and put it in that bin that you want to recycle. Um, same thing goes here. I don't have a lot of products left, but uh, you know, still good to to take everything out. So I've got three done here. This one, I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing too and break it off. Same thing, take it off. 
the thing about lipstick that I learned about myself is that if I get like a color lipstick that I want to use every single day, that's basically gold. Like that's done. Um, and you know, lipstick just takes so long to get done. So nowadays I have a tendency to get like the smaller size, you know, like the trial size. And then I call it a day. And then if you have like one favorite lipstick that you really, really love, and that's basically it. You don't need anything more than, you know, like, so I see all these beauty guru having like a crap load of lipsticks. I, it just like hurt my soul um, because that's like ultimately it's going to waste. And I highly doubted that they would go through it the way I go through it, you know, to help the environment. So um, with that said, you know, like I hope that you guys are doing the same thing as I am doing. I'm not imposing on that, but then I think it's important for our environment that, you know, we recycle as much stuff as we can. Um, so basically that. <sighs> but anyways, you know, so this is going to take a process within itself. Um, it's going to take some time to get it done, but, you know, it's so worth it. And in my opinion, it's kind of satisfying, to be honest, uh, to like... It's like paint. Look at this. This is kind of cool. Um, but yeah. Let me take this out. I really need to go to the garden with Jalen and uh, Ephraim right now because we were supposed to um, plant some stuff. So I might put this on pause and then go out there and then hang out with them for a little bit and then come back and clean this up. Um, but yeah, that's basically all I do. But you guys get the gist, right? You guys get the point. Um, I think I'm going to stop with the lipstick right now and then I'm going to show you guys how I do like like the foundation, the eyeshadows and things like that. It will be, basically be the same process. Like, you know, you just clean the product off of the make, off of the, the packaging and then you, that's, that's basically it. That's done. But yeah, so that's lipstick, and I will see you guys in a little bit with the other products. But for now, I think I'm done with this one. Um, and I'll come back later to show you guys how I do the other parts. So I'm going to turn it so I can use the other napkin, the other piece of napkin. But yeah, that's basically it. I'll show you guys in a little bit. So this is everything that expired. Probably about a shoes box. But yeah, I already cleaned a lot of the containers and removed the powder as well as, you know, like the stuff in it and then uh, dump it in the trash. So that's basically it.